The Aorus RGB Memory 16GB Kit comes in 4 sticks. Now you may assume it's 4 gig, 4 gig, 4 gig, 4 gig, but it's not. It's just 8 gig, 8 gig, and 2 additional dummy units right here that serves to add RGB. This is extra RGB memory module right here. In fact, if you look at its circuitry right here, then you notice there's only certain parts that is gold plated with gold fins. The reason is, it's just to power and control the lighting effects through the software compared to an actual memory module right here. You can see entire part right here is gold plated both sides. So the benefit of this kit right here is instead of buying two sticks that is 16 gig, you fill up two slots in your motherboard and two other slots is empty. It's just like a half big story. It looks cheap and if you want to fill up all the slots, you have to go 8 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig, 32 gigs and it's going to be costly that way. So by using the Aorus method, you can stay at 16 gig and you pay a little bit more to fill up the slots to look sexy on your motherboard. Now looking at the physical appearance of the RAM, it's housed in the aluminium housing right here that is thick metal, it has some weight to it with a brushed metal finish with the Aorus logo right here. The brightness of this RAM is good even though it's not much brighter than the other competitors in the market. On the bright side, no pun intended right there, Aorus RAM has the highest saturation color compared to most RAM in the market that looks a little bit undersaturated and overly whitish tone. Thus, you see more vibrant color glow in the Aorus compared to the others. Towards the end of the videos, we will see some of the lighting effects. My setup is based on the Ryzen 1700X overclocked to 3.8 GHz on an Aorus B450 Pro motherboard. I did a benchmark comparing its standard timing based on the XMP profile, the 3200MHz at 16, 18, 18, 38, 1.35 volts versus my somewhat faster timing of 16, 17, 17, 34 at 1.35 volts. Now the reason why it's capable to go faster timing on these babies right here and also I did an IDA64 stress test for 12 hours, there's zero crashes, I even do the MEM test after 30 loops, which is one hour stress test, it's stable. I tried 60 loops, it's stable. The reason behind this is it uses Samsung BDI modules. So it's known to be very stable in the market for overclocking and doing faster timing. In fact, this review is not complete because I'm using a B motherboard, that's what I have currently. It limits me to 3200 megahertz. Now my friends with Z motherboards and other reviews online managed to push this RAM up to 3400 megahertz easily of course with a bit slower timing. For i7 and i9 with 3400 megahertz, go for it because that would help you for rendering and doing a lot of those computational work. Now to use these memory modules right here to get its full RGB glory, you do need the latest RGB Fusion software to control the lighting effects. Static. Pulse. Flash. Double flash. Color cycle. Wave. Color stroke. Droplet. Color droplet. Cascade. Color cascade. You guys have to give credit to Aorus for stepping into the RAM space which is overly saturated with RGB and various of brand coming at different different price points from up, down, left, right, center with all the funny RGB lighting effects. Aorus got it right because number one, they go to the best manufacturer and straight away say, hey, 
We want good quality stuff. Samsung modules, Samsung B dies. We want something that can be overclockable to 3400 megahertz if you have the right motherboard. We want something that can go low timing and stable. I know best because I play with my friends like Red Camera, Blackmagic Camera, ProRes 422, DNX HR or DNX HD. And we need faster timing to get that little juice to render or transcode faster. It's just that I can wheel like a Wolverine but not like a Thanos. I would like to see a 4000 megahertz version of this RAM right here and more a customizable RGB effect because currently the RGB effect is for all four sticks together. I want it individual like each LED I can customize one color or each module I can customize like you know like infinity stones, the yellow, the red, the purple, blue. That would be great. So congratulations to Aorus right here. Would I recommend this if you are a rendering type of person who does a lot of 4K and in the future a lot of the 8K footage at 60 frames per second, you have to get a stable RAM, give Aorus a shot. Now you can get Aorus motherboard, Aorus RAM, Aorus NVMe, Aorus graphic card, hopefully Aorus cooler, everything Aorus and hey, it's a reliable brand. You know what's reliable? Subscribing to Kevin Pixels for more contents like this. Remember to like and subscribe and help share this video on social media. Comment below what other Aorus products you would like me to review so I can contact the principal that he can lend me stuff for review. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I have to put this back into my system or I cannot render out videos. Which three videos including this one as well. So, bye.